Step 1. Adding Backgrounds Vidtune comes with many ready-to-use and really nice HD backgrounds which you can use right away. You can even upload your own designs to use in your backgrounds too. You simply need to drag your desired background and drop it into the builder box. You can then resize it to fit the screen and if you click on the settings icon, you'll be able to set when you want the background to start showing and how long you want it to last, which is better to do in the timeline. You can also flip it. With the color feature, you can change the background image to a color and also you're able to add an appearing and disappearing effect as well. You can even add a moving effect by using the Move A to B feature. You can then add more backgrounds to the timeline if you want, so you can create a story animation with them. Then you can click on the play button to see how the backgrounds are looking so far. Awesome! That was really easy, guys! Step 2. Adding Characters Vidtune also offers you a great variety of really nice HD animated characters to choose from. You can use the search feature on top to locate a desired one. You simply have to drag your desired character and drop it into the character track of the timeline. You're even able to resize the character and adapt it to the scenario you use. You can then click on the settings icon to preview all the cool animations your character has. If you want your character to continually do the animation, simply click on the loom check. You can also add an appearing and disappearing effect, as well as the move A to B effect. You can also add additional characters too, and you can make them do anything you want in your story. This is looking awesome, guys. It's totally fun to do. Step 3. Adding Zoom Effect The new version of Vidtune comes with amazing new features, which will help you improve your video creation skills. You can add a zoom effect to your video by clicking on the green bar below the timeline. You can click on a small plus button on the left side of the track to add as many zoom options as you want. All you need to do is adjust it in the track and then customize it to where you want the zoom effect to be. When you preview the scene, you'll be able to see that the effect starts in full screen and then zooms into the character. If you want a zoom out effect, all you need to do is add another zoom and place it next to the previous one. Adjust it in the scene, and there you go. You now have a zoom out effect as well. What an awesome addition! Step 4. Adding Stock Images, Icons, and GIFs Similar to Zoom Effect, we've added new features that will allow you to add icons, images, and GIFs to your project. For Pixabay, you can search for any keyword that can be associated with your project and press Enter. As you can see, you can access a list of images. Choose one, click on the download icon, and it will be added to your gallery. You can now drag it to the timeline or add it straight to the scene. You can also flip it, move it using A to B feature, or duplicate it. The process is fairly similar also to Icon Finder and Jiffy. All you will have to do is type in a keyword, download the icon or GIF of your choice, Customize it in your scene, and there you go! Step 5. Adding Voice and Text Yes, VidTuners, you can even add automated voice, Google TTS voice, or even record your own voice, and add it to the animations. You simply have to grab the text-to-speech icon and drop it onto the audio track of the timeline. Then, click on the settings icon and here you'll be able to add your Google API key if you want to use the Google text-to-speech service or use the default voices that comes here. In the box below, you should add your text you want to be said with the automated voice and voila! The voice will be automatically added to the scene. This is totally awesome! If you want to record your voice instead, Simply grab the microphone icon to the audio track in the timeline and in settings, you'll be able to start record, stop record, play record, or delete record. Maybe you don't want to add voice to your story, so you can also use text or even both. For adding text, you simply need to drag and drop the text icon into the image track. Then go to settings and edit the background color, 
text, color, font, position of the text, and size. Edit the content of your text and even add animation effects to it. Great guys, this is looking even more professional. Now to the end. Step 6. Adding music. Finally, you can add music to your animator video from the list of music tracks listed here. You can also upload your own music too. In the settings, you'll be able to set the music to loop and even edit the volume of it, specifically if you're using voice your scenes. If you consider using a real person voice is the best thing, you should do but you still don't count with the professional equipment you need to make it sound perfect. You can have a professional voiceover to record the voice for you and upload it as a music track and add it into the audio track together with the music. You just need to adjust the volume on both the music and the voiceover. Are you looking to buy or sell a vehicle anytime soon? If so, you've come to the right place. And that's about it guys. You can simply save your project, which you'll be able to open again if you want to edit anything further later, and click on Export to create your HD animated video. Are you looking to buy or sell a vehicle anytime soon? If so, you've come to the right place.